What is going on guys, your boy Vader Knight. We're back again for another Age of History 3 video. Uh, you guys like the first ones, we're gonna keep making videos. Um, as long as you guys are running them up, bro, I'll, I'll drop like a ton of videos all over the place, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of feeling like playing either Germany or China today. We're gonna play as one of the two. I'm kind of feeling... Do we wanna go German Empire? That'd be pretty based. Cause we could like, we could probably beat Russia if I'm gonna be completely honest. We'd probably win. All right, bro, we're jumping in, bro. German Empire. How many troops do we got to start out? I think we only got like 20, 20 something troops, which is not very good. So I think we're going to upgrade that. Or should we just work on our economy at the start? We're making a lot of cash. So like, it honestly might be good to like, work on the economy, but at the same time, I don't want to get like, invaded right off the bat, you know what I'm saying? I think the first thing I want to do is just build a bunch of these because we're not really getting a whole lot of legacy quite yet. And I know that that's going to be important if we want to upgrade our economy. So I'm probably going to start out with that. I think that's how we're going to start out. I think that'll give us quite a bit to start out so I think I'm okay with that I'm going to get some advisors in here and we might as well promote them too it doesn't cost a lot to promote them so my main goal at the start of this game is just to build up a bunch of cash and then once we're making like a ton of money I think that's when uh, we're going to start building up the military and kind of doing our thing or whatever. But at the start, we're just going to be kind of peaceful until we get like a, a proper economy going. I'm mainly just working on this tax efficiency, mainly targeting like these cheaper areas to fix up. And we're about to hit 100 gold per turn, which is going to put us pretty high at the start of this game in terms of, like, what all we can really do, so. But yeah, at the start, I'm mainly just building up our country. I think we're in a golden age now. We're second place in the world, which is decent. I wouldn't say we're doing amazing, but we're doing decent. Probably gonna want some academies too, because we probably do want to level up our tech quite a bit and get pretty far ahead of everybody. I think I'm gonna declare a war against Denmark. I feel like that's a good starting war. I'm gonna create another little military. And I think that's gonna be the first war I declare is gonna be against Denmark. All right, so we have declared our first, our first war against Denmark. Uh, this war should go okay. I don't believe they have that many troops. So we'll see how this plays out. We're gonna have to make sure that they don't like sneak attack us or whatever, but I think they don't got a whole lot. That's my guess. But again, we'll kind of see how it all plays out. I'll kind of defend until we take out their main troops. And then this island should be easy to take. We're gonna try to like counter them right here. And we'll take them out hopefully right here. They only got like 16 troops. I think after that we're gonna go for their capital. They should be defeated pretty quick. I don't think they have a whole lot. Taking out Denmark should be a pretty easy operation for the most part. And just like that, they've basically lost their homeland already um but we still haven't uh, we still haven't capitulated them yet so that means we're gonna have to actually take the fight over here and take over their islands as well
Once we take the capital of Iceland, I think they'll capitulate. And we can probably take everything for the most part. So, I think that did it right there. Now we can make our demands on them. We're going to completely take their mainland. We're going to take this. We're going to take this. And we're going to take Ice or Greenland as well. So, we're going to take all that. And that'll be a pretty good amount of... Of land for our nation so we just gained quite a bit right there without really doing a whole lot of work we could go to war against the Netherlands but I feel like that'd be a very expensive war because they have a very strong um, colony down here I don't would we be able to take them over and and not have to go into their colony I'm not sure if we can do that I might invade them but I mean, Russia has already taken, like, Sweden. Russia is a strong country, too, so... I'm not sure what our best strategy is with that. It looks like the UK just completely capitulated France. So, all of Africa just got liberated, essentially. Which, uh, well, no, I guess they're still controlled by France. But for how much longer? Uh, probably not that much longer. I'm currently working on the railroad. The railroad is like a super OP thing you can build in your country because it helps your your tax efficiency, your infrastructure, your production efficiency, your army speed, your economy. It basically helps you with basically everything. So railroad has been like something I've liked to work on. Uh, that's something that really helps me grow in the early game or whatever. I think my next target is going to be the Netherlands. They... Uh, unless we should go for Norway. I guess we could go for Norway. I don't think Norway is that powerful. We might go for Norway. And, uh, I think I'm gonna build a third army, though. A third and a fourth army. Just because I'm not... I'm not really too sure things would go that well. If we completely, like, abandon... Uh, Europe. <laughs> I feel like we'll be invaded. So I want to have like a backup ready to go or whatever. Alright. I think we're ready for the war now. I'm going to declare a war on these guys. Well, they're friends with Romania. Does that matter? I mean, we can defend the mainland with that 100 stack, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, so we eliminated the Norwegian army. Now we can move these guys in. Make sure that Romania isn't getting open borders or anything crazy. That's going to be our main goal. I think they're about to capitulate, so I think we just won. Now we've capitulated Norway. And we can make demands against them. We're going to demand all of Norway, and we're going to take that over. We might start pissing people off, though, because I think at 100, you get a coalition against you. So we do want to make sure we don't piss too many people off. 
but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. You know what I'm saying? We could go to war with the Russians and utterly destroy them, I think. Which we might do. But I want to make an alliance if I go to war with Russia. Because we want to make sure, like, we're completely, like, ready for war or whatever. I feel like they would be a good nation to get into an alliance. So, we're going to improve relations with Italy and Austria-Hungary. And we're probably going to bring them into a war against the Russians. So, we're making 500 a turn. We're the number one country in prestige, which is a good sign. And for the most part, things are getting better. Alright, so we're making tons of cash now. I think it's pretty safe to say we're a world power. I'm going to pause the game. And I think I'm just going to solo Russia by myself. I think we're just going to crush them. All right, so we got a bunch of armies now. Um, I think we're going to build one more. Maybe two more, I don't know. We might have two more. I might pause it. We have a lot of cash right now. I'm going to build two more giant armies. And these armies are mainly going to be responsible for fighting the Russians in Sweden. Just, well, and defending the homeland too. Because I do, I do feel like if France or if the UK got involved, we'd probably get screwed. So I want to have some stuff defending the homeland or whatever. And then I need to make sure I pin on my, my uh, armies as well. So something like that should be good. And I think we have enough cash. We're making enough cash. We should be able to uh, support this war. So I'm going to declare this war on them and it should be okay. I'll put, I'll do some of this in the ocean. Some arms factories. Why not? That should help our manpower out. So we'll do that as well. And just like that, I think we're ready for this war. It'll bring in Finland, which is apparently a vassal of Russia, and it'll bring in Greece. So we'll have to watch out for Greece. I think our troops up here should do an okay job at that. But, uh, yeah. Let's send an insult to Russia. We're going to destroy Russia. That's the main goal. The main goal is going to be to take out Russia. So this guy is going to move in here. This guy will move forward here. I'm not planning to like take a lot of land from Russia. I might take some, but the main goal, uh, this guy might have to like chill for a little bit. He might have to just go right here because they could come in from the north. This guy's goal is going to be to hunt the Russians because I don't know how it's going to go. I might actually make another troop division if I see, like, Greece or something come from this side. So far, a lot of the war is being won. We're at 10% war score so far against the Russians. I'm going to move the troops in this direction. We're going to take over this island. And I think this guy is going to go kind of to Gothenburg and kind of like unite this front line. 
I'm not seeing any Finnish troops yet in our land, which I'm kind of worried about Finland more than Russia, which is kind of crazy to think about. But the Russians are apparently trying to counter us right here, so that's something we got to make sure doesn't happen. We'll send some guys back towards this area. And then this guy will kind of go north a little bit. I think we'll do something like that. But we did find the Russians, bro. The Russians are down here. They're heading to our mainland. That's their goal. I think we're going to counter them, though. I think we did. We countered the Russians. And uh, we're going to counter them again right here, too, in Russia. So they'll probably have a lot of troops here. They might reinforce. We might want backup up here. But yeah, so far, technically nobody has invaded us yet. I want to have, like, this guy kind of stationed in the middle. I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on here. We kind of want a guy back just in case. So we're going to do that. This guy might actually go over here. I want to make sure, like, the Russians aren't sending troops down the water or whatever towards us. And then this guy will move up this direction. Our main goal is just to capitulate them. This guy's taking a beating right here. He's, he's, he's like a real trooper for like <laughs> defending our front lines or whatever. Oh, the Greeks are coming in. We're gonna have to roll back and fight Greece. We're fighting a big war against the Russians right here though. I'm surprised Greece went this way. It's kind of a dumb choice, but whatever. We just wiped out the entire Greek military, I think. I don't think they have nothing left. And I think the Russians are running out too. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I think uh, this is going a lot better than I thought it would at least. We're going to take Helsinki and then I think we're going to take out this Russian division that's hiding up here. I don't think they're countering us yet, so... We'll do that. I think the Russians are still hiding up here in Finland, though. It's a pretty big battlefield to, like, maintain and, like, watch everything. That's, like, one of the things with this game. Like, it is a big battlefield, and, like, you gotta, like, zoom out. And you can see the troops, but I don't know if you can see the enemy troops. So, it is a big battlefield to kind of maintain, and even on, like, the slowest mode, it's kind of difficult. But, usually, I mean, we're keeping a pretty good... Main, maintain over everything so far. I think we're going to push towards St. Petersburg. That is the Russian capital at the moment, so we'll push forward to that. We'll take Kiev and we'll push these guys south as well. This guy will move north. We'll kind of see what's in this area and see if the Finns are hiding up here or what's going on. I haven't seen Finland yet, which is kind of scary. They're probably recruiting troops back in the back lines too, so I probably want to see what's going on over here. I think the Russians are about to capitulate. Um, we've taken a lot of their land over. Oh, here's another Russian troop. Let's move him down here. Alright, we're gonna try to flank this Russian division who's, like, in this area, so... We'll try to flank this guy. Here's another Russian division up here in Finland. Let's try to take this guy out. That's just a one stack, so... I think this guy is going to go to the capital. We're going to take out the capital. We're going to go in, take this over. 
I think we're just going to keep on taking land. This guy can stay back, make sure nothing crazy happens. But for the most part, I think Russia's done for. So that's a good sign. Where's Moscow? Let's, let's go in and take this and then we'll take Moscow. And then this guy, he can take some of this, I guess. Oh, here's a Russian troop. Let's go counter this guy on the water. A three stack. I think we took out Russia's military. I don't think they have nothing left. And I don't know what happened to the Finnish military because it looks like they don't even really got one. So. And just like that, we have capitulated the Russians with 90% war score. We're going to make demands against them. My first demand is going to be, I think we will take Sweden. Uh, just because it is kind of annoying having like the Russians in our backyard or whatever. So I think we will take this over. I think we'll take these islands over. And then I think we'll take a lot of Poland over. I don't know about all of it. But we'll take most of it over. I'm not sure where the actual border is. I just want to have a pretty good looking border. This border looks okay. And then, uh, we're gonna demand that Finland becomes ours. They're gonna liberate Romania. Um, I think that's all they can liberate in this scenario. I don't think this scenario was built, um, with liberation in mind for a lot of these civs, surprisingly. I guess we could we could take more land, but do we really want to? I think we'll take something like this, and then we'll just humiliate them. Or... Yeah, we'll just humiliate them and demand war reparations after that. I think something like this is good. I think something like this for Russia is good. We're going to enforce our demands from them. We just gained a ton of land out of Russia. Uh, they're barely even a world power anymore. So that was a massive victory over Russia. We just gained a crap ton of land. So pretty big victory right there against the Russians, all things considered. I don't think I'm going to leave the troops in this area. I think I'm going to move them back to uh, Berlin. I think one guy will have in Warsaw, if I can find it. All right, so we've officially unlocked nuclear weapons. I'm going to build a bunch of them. Uh, the year is 1964 when we unlocked nuclear weapons, so we're pretty far behind. Other countries probably would have already unlocked them by now in real life, but... I think we were the first one in this game to actually unlock it. Unless I'm wrong about that. I think I'm going to go into the Netherlands next. It's kind of an easy place to take over. Well, maybe not. They have a lot of allies. That would be a war against... Do we want to go to war with Italy? Italy is pretty strong. But our aggressive expansion is already pretty high. I think if we get it too much higher, we'll piss the whole world off. It's probably not what we want to do. How strong is Austria-Hungary? Who are they allies with? They're not allied with no one. That'd be a great one to go to war with. But this is a big country. We have a big border with them. So, might actually need more troops. I'm not sure. It's a pretty big country to go to war with. We should be good, though. I mean, I think we kind of got their border on lock. 
so I might actually attack them. I think we're going to declare war on Austria-Hungary. We're going to take these troops in and take out their capital first. This guy will kind of go in. This guy will move into Krakow because I'm not sure what all they got here. Uh, and same with this guy. These guys are kind of weak on this flank. So we'll kind of do that. This guy will kind of move here. This guy will kind of move here. And we'll see how that goes for the first turn. This guy is retreating, which is not a good sign. Let's go help our teammate over here. This guy, let's go down here and make sure they're not going to counter us. Go over here and make sure they're not going to counter us. They got one guy right here. Pretty small battle right here. I think we're going to win that. It might have been larger. I didn't, I didn't really see it, to be completely honest. This guy can go here. This guy can go here. I think I'll lower it to three speed. This guy can go down here. This was a decent battle right here. They're trying to uh, unoccupy their territory right now. I think he did. I think he actually unoccupied that province. I don't think they're attacking us in any other areas, but I'm gonna make sure real quick. I think we're, I think we're good everywhere else. I think they're already about to capitulate. I don't think they were actually that powerful. I think they were actually really weak. I think after we take this last little bit of land, I think they're probably done for. So we've capitulated Austria-Hungary now. We can now make demands against them. If I take more land, that gives me aggressive expansion. So I don't, do we really want to do all that? I'm not sure. So let's see what they suggest us. Oh, they suggest us everything. I kind of like my border. Surprisingly enough, I kind of like it. Which people probably won't even believe that, but I kind of do. We can demand that they let these guys free in the south. I think we'll just take everything. I know that's like aggressive expanding or whatever, but... I mean, we're kind of an empire at this point. Does it really matter? I think somebody should do like a uh, a, a mod fix for World War One, where there's like more vassals or whatever. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how this game turned out. We became a pretty OP empire, if I'm going to be completely honest with myself. I don't think I can form the Holy Roman Empire quite yet, but I think we formed a pretty strong German Empire for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace.